Welcome to another one-on-one session here at OK Preps Media Day. I'm Michael Knight standing here with Union quarterback Peyton Thompson. Peyton, uh, coming to this team last year, yes, uh, taking the starting role, mm-hmm. and then uh, leading an offense that you know had weapons all over the field yes, at sir. receiver, uh, you know, two great running backs. Darius coming back this year, but you got some new receivers right. to, to throw the ball to. Talk about this off season and trying to find some chemistry with those new guys. Um, it's been great. Um, ever since the week after uh, the state championship ended, I've been working with those guys and trying to build bonds with them. Um, they're with me everywhere I go. So I've gotten close with some of those guys, and it showed here this spring all the work that we put in this off season. And those guys are coming out and performing, and they know that they have big shoes to fill, but they're looking forward to it, and um, they're excited about it and they're getting after it. So there's a different sense of hunger this year than there was last year, and we're looking to prove people wrong. Do you take more of a leadership role where you're, you're coming on to a team last year as a junior and they have plenty of seniors on for that sure. offense? Uh, do you take more of a vocal role this year as a senior? Yes, sir, for sure. Um, I've been, when I came in last year, it was like I was the one coming in learning the offense, and th- th- those guys took me in, and now it's kind of the, the script is flipped a little bit, and those guys are looking up to me, and I have to step up as a leader for our offense and, and take control and, and play with an edge that those guys can look to and, and count on me in games. What has to happen for you guys to, to get back to, to where you were a couple years ago, winning a state title, uh, get back to that championship game uh, that you made it to last year, and, and win the whole thing? Look, we know is going to be oh, yeah. a, a contender again. Broken sure. Arrow has a lot of talent. Uh, Jinx is always going to be Jinx regardless. Right. Uh, what has to happen for Union to not only get back but win the whole thing? Um, I think that we have to take care of ourselves. Um, I think – a big theme that we've had this off season is not losing to ourselves. Um, we felt like last year we kind of beat ourselves a little bit. So um, we know that those teams have a lot of talent. Those teams are all very talented and starting week one with Broken Arrow um, and also the Texas team as well. We play teams with a lot of talent this year. Um, obviously last year we had a lot of big name guys with two OU commits and an Oklahoma State commit. But like I said, we got a lot of guys that are hungry and ready to compete and looking forward to that opportunity. So. I think we'll be fine. Um, it's going to be um, not a bunch of those guys don't have a whole lot of experience, but they're looking forward to it and excited to get out there and compete against those other big name schools. How's your off season been as far as what you've been able to learn? I know you've made it out to a couple uh, big time quarterback camps. Yes, I know you had a lot of success in Houston. Mm-hmm. I saw you at the one down right. in Dallas. Just talk about what you've taken away from those experiences. Um, I've taken a lot away from it. Um, going down there, it made me realize. Um, that I can compete with those guys. And when you see those guys across the country that go to those camps and you're out there competing with them, it gives you it gives you a sense of comfort knowing that you can go out there and compete with those guys and also with other receivers and stuff like that around the country, big name guys. Um, I took away a lot of leadership lessons too from those Elite 11 guys and um, I have a lot of respect for those guys. Um, I've actually still been keeping in contact with a bunch of those coaches and they've been great. They've been Overall, just holistically as a quarterback, teaching you different things, not just about being a quarterback, but being a quarterback in all aspects of life, in the classroom, off the field, all that different type of stuff. What have you heard? Uh, you know, Give us an update on your recruitment. Who's talking to you the most? I know this is a very busy mm-hmm. time. Coaches coming from all over the country. Right. Who's talking to you the most right now? And any big plans this summer? Um, yes, sir. Um, Eastern Michigan is really – I'm really close with them. They were my first D1 and um, I've kept in contact with them. They were actually at practice last week, and so I've got I've built a really solid relationship with them. I have Missouri and Baylor as well. I'm, I'm close with those both of those staffs, and I'm going to be visiting them here soon this summer for camps as well as to, to get on campus and just be around them those guys more. Um, I also have several other schools that I'm talking to quite a bit, SMU, North Texas. So I'm just tr- really trying to focus on myself and take care of business with my team and I know that that all that will take care of itself with God and his plan so I'm not I don't want to stress about it a whole lot but it's exciting and yes I I will be attending multiple camps this summer especially at the beginning of the summer before we really start get rolling into the fall what's uh when you take a look back at last year obviously you don't like the way it ended but when you take a look back at your junior season uh if you had to pinpoint a favorite moment, whether it was, you know, the the jinx blowout, the, you know, mm-hmm. beating a Wasso in double overtime in the regular season, the ESPN game. What was your favorite moment from last um, year? Um it was special going back to my old school week one and playing them on ESPN and getting a win. Um 
Also, too, growing up, I've always been a Union guy. My dad's been a teacher there for years, so I've grown up being a Union dude. And playing in that backyard bowl was an unbelievable atmosphere, and going out there and getting that win, that was a pretty humbling experience, and it was a really good experience. And also, you can't forget the double overtime Owasso game. Um, it was really, it was a really good experience and something that you took away that you can't take things for granted after what happened to Kevion. And um, so that was an awesome deal. And it's great to see him back around the guys. He's been around the guys. We actually, I actually hung out with him last night. So it's good to see him bounce back from that. And I know that he went, he got to at least go out with a bang that game. And then um, obviously again in the semis playing Broken Arrow again was an awesome experience, like you said. Um, getting to go out there and, and play them at TU in the semis to go to the state finals was an awesome experience. Well, Peyton, you had a great season last year. Looking forward to seeing what you can do uh, yes, for an encore this year. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. That's Union quarterback Peyton Thompson. I'm Michael Knight, and this has been another one-on-one -on -one session here at OK Preps Media Day.